today I will be going through my weekly planning process on both my daily ring agenda and my weekly vertical. Spoiler alert, yes, it can be too much. If you're new here, hi, my name is Sarah and I love sharing tips and tricks to help you stay optimized and organized and have fun at the same time. This whole entire video was inspired by Bianca, someone who commented on my Erin Condren A5 Ring Agenda video. Uh, she asked, how will you be using both the vertical and the A5? I want to get the A5, but I already have the vertical. I just don't know if it's too much. So yeah, I'm going to share how I plan on both planners today. It can be too much using both planners if you pressure yourself to use both. I personally don't pressure myself. I know that some weeks I will want to do weekly, some weeks I'll want to do daily, some weeks I'll want to do both and it's okay. So this video is going to mainly focus on my weekly planning process, but I will share a monthly planning process on both planners pretty soon and share a little quick overview on how I use my monthlies as well. If you enjoyed any of the products, they're listed down below in the description. And if you choose to use any of my links, I do get a little cake bag for every purchase. So thank you for your support. And without further ado, let's jump right in. So these are both of my Erin Condren Life Planners. One of them is a seven by nine vertical and the other is my A5 Daily Ring Agenda. They both have super cute matching covers. I love it when things match. Although my seven by nine is more of a colorful design, so both of them have their sticky note dashboards. I absolutely love them. And my seven by nine is in the vertical like evolve design, which is more colorful. And the daily is in the bold blooms design. I just want you to see the size difference. I'm gonna use my hands to scale. You can see the A5 is much smaller, more portable. And I wanna start off by really quickly showing you how I use my monthly spreads. So in my seven by nine, I write paydays, birthdays, bill dues. So it's kind of like my catch all place for things happening during that month, like reminders that I need to set for myself. Travel, I mark travel with washi tape to see which days I'll be out of town. And, and it's just a place where I write everything that's going on. However, my A5 monthly spread is more strategic. Like I write down deadlines, challenges like this fitness challenge I'm doing for myself. I write my to do's, whereas my seven by nine has like a more synthesized to do list. It's just more like things that I really need to focus on where my A5 has a very, very long list. And, you know, these are things that I know I need to get done, but I don't want to keep front and center because it may be overwhelming. So I keep them here. And then I have other pages that I use in my A5. I kind of wanted to show you like how I use my daily where I write down certain things, certain tasks that are happening at specific times, like work, things in the morning that I do. And then I have a to-do list. So let me explain how I use them together. I have my weekly spreads, which like keep everything on two pages, but the daily has a one page for each day, right? So sometimes I will use my daily and I won't use my weekly because it becomes too much sometimes to use both planners, but I may feel more like using a daily that week than my weekly. And then other weeks, I'd rather just stick to my weekly and decorate it, make it look all pretty. Whereas my daily planner is more functional. This one is super cute and it's kind of like my way to de-stress, to get creative, to add some color and just get motivated for my tasks. So that's how I use both planners. 
where some weeks I may use my daily, some weeks I may use my weekly, and some weeks I use both. Some weeks, depending on how I feel, like maybe I just really need to structure my brain and maybe I have a little bit more time because y'all know planning takes time, but it's a great way to just decompress. So that's what I'm going to do this week. I'm going to show you how I incorporate different elements. Like I'm going to use my sticker book, washi tape, and my Bold Blooms markers to create this spread. And I'm going to show you how like an overloaded week looks. But it really helps me. Started with my weekly overview, which is a new page added by Erin Condren. And I'm just going to pick out the pages I am going to be using the first thing I'm going to do is write down the dates for my days of the week because these are undated. So you can use them in whichever week you prefer. So I'm going to get started by also adding some stickers, of course, uh, to write down the focus for that day. I don't know if you've ever heard me talk about this. I talk about it a lot, but I like theming my days. Adding a theme to my day is, really helps me focus on one thing and not feel too overwhelmed. So I'm just going to grab my paper mate, which also just kind of fits the colors of the bold blooms. And I'm going to get started with my days, like my coffee Monday is like more productive day, tidy Tuesday, the day I clean. WK is wallet keeping my bookkeeping business, so I really focus on that on Wednesdays. And Thursdays, I catch up on things that I just haven't done during the week that I know I have to do. Sunday is my fun day. It's the day that I kind of relax or sometimes go out. Saturdays are like, you never know what's going to happen. So I don't usually have things planned for Saturday until like it's coming up. Everything has a day assigned to it. So I'm going to use my Sarasa Vintage I love how it matches up with these colors it's all about the colorway y'all like i absolutely love how this pen writes so beautifully and you can just totally match it up and sometimes we go out swimming or we go out to a park we go out shopping do chores i, I don't know saturday it can be whatever so <laughs> i just kind of leave it blank and i kind of know a few things that are going to be happening this week so i keep them there now that I have my week set up, I'm going to set up my weekly planner so I kind of have an outline of what to do and I can use this different ways. It really depends on how I feel. But like for example, this week I am using my weekly kit as an outline for the week ahead. It's a big week y'all. I have so many things going on right now i'm very thankful because like i just got my first sponsor for a planner brand and it's an amazon brand called decorably i did a video last week in case you haven't checked it out they have great products i was like so surprised so i am like eternally grateful i just started getting an influx of leads in my business and that's taking up a lot of time, like having discovery calls, having to work on their books. And on top of that, I have a full-time job. <laughs> uh, so I have to stay on top of everything more than ever. So for me, just like planning things out, being very strategic with my time is very important. And also knowing when to rest. I literally have to like plan out times that you're like you have to rest Sarah because if not I'll just like overwork myself and then I'll have a day where I completely crash so you've kind of seen me I love using these sticker books in my planner because they create these beautiful spreads and you can use the deco like in the middle as kind of like you know your full boxes I really like the effect that it has and then this like very thick washi tape is a great bottom washi to leave there. So overall, I am loving how this spread is turning out. And you know, a lot of sticker kits, like they're quite expensive because of course they're handmade, they're beautiful. And then the sticker books, like I think are 
equivalent to a really good sticker kit and you can use them in several ways. So that's why I like incorporating these Erin Conran sticker books in my planner. And there's just so many elements that you can add. Like I have these quarter boxes that I am using and the half boxes. So like there is so much that you can add to it with just one sticker book. And then of course, you know, your washi. I, I ended up taking it out because it was just like, it wasn't working for me within the little washi tape dispenser. It was just easier for me to pull it out. So there it is. I used up all the washi. I'm just setting up my middle sections here. And I have to have that deco. I don't know about you, but I need that deco in my planner to just ugh, to make it beautiful and to get motivated. Let me know in the comments like how you get motivated to do your tasks because for me, I get motivated when something is pretty. That's just it. I mean, call me superficial, but it's just the way my brain works. I leave a half box on Friday because Fridays I really don't do anything at night. Like, I just watch a movie with my husband. It's kind of like my unwind day. I do journaling, so I don't leave a to-do list. This is how it turned out. Like, my weekly spread inside my seven by nine planner now that the weekly spread is done i kind of wrote a few things off camera i kind of forgot to record but yes you can see my coffee monday tidy tuesday and it kind of matches up with whatever's on my a5 yes i'm kind of like double dipping but it makes sense in my head i have my habit trackers my workouts everything is there and I'm gonna try to follow it as best as I could and make sure that I am getting the rest I need. Now that I have my weekly set up, I am going to do my daily pages and my daily pages are almost as important as my weekly, especially on very, very heavy days like this. So the kind of stickers that I love to use in my daily are the the ones by hello petite paper and paper shire for some reason like the color palettes just go well together and i love both brands equally so up here i'm just gonna put again my highlight i don't know what it is having that space where i am marking an important thing for the day is really important for me you'll notice that i kind of stop in the rest of my spread I love these flat lays. I think they really depict what I want to focus on that week. If you're wondering where I got that, like that sticker album, it's by More Plans. And she's off having a baby, so her shop is closed. But when it opens up, I'll be sure to let you know because I'm a huge fan of her stickers and her sticker albums. So yeah, she's really busy right now. So hopefully when she comes back, I'm going to order some more because I love those. On Mondays, like, we kind of do the same thing. Go get groceries in the evening. In the morning, I work out and I kind of have my workouts laid, laid out for me. And then 8 a.m. is kind of like my time to work on, you know, meetings or whatever I need to do for my bookkeeping business. 7, I'm going to leave open. I'm not sure what I want to do then. I could be doing like something for Sarah's planner I mean it really depends on the day I kind of plan ahead but things change y'all and you have to have that flexibility to understand that things really move around I love this super cute sticker by paper shire that's like work I don't know what I'm doing that's me at work just kind of like moving along going with the motions right now I really have this ambition to get out of my job and just kind of work on my businesses. So I'm trying really hard and trying to balance everything out. It gets hard. It really does. Like I need to balance spending time with my husband, working, businesses, and just having me time, which I think me time is what I mostly neglect. I had this super cute workout sticker by Paper Shire. I didn't realize I have it. I'm using my flat lays to kind of like remind me about things that I need to do that day. 
And then I'm also using the larger stickers to write down quotes. I'm a huge quote girly. Like I'm obsessed with quotes and I need them every week, possibly every day to kind of keep me going. Let me know in the comments if you are anything like me, like that you love a good quote. I don't know what it is about them. So yeah, I leave this and this spot I'm gonna write like what I'm grateful for. I really need to catch up on my budget on Thursday. Like I haven't logged anything for July. And then I'm just quickly writing things. I'm not even putting stickers down anymore. And there comes a point where I'm like, oh my gosh, I just gotta, you know, get this done. So I'm I'm really liking the colorway, how everything is turning out. I love how these like pastelish stickers match with the Erin Conran stickers and how it all works out in the end. I think it's a giant waste of time to have that giant line of my corporate job back in the middle. But at the same time, I also like can't help it. Like that's where I am most of the day. Hopefully things will change. So this is how my daily pages turned out. They're just an outline again. And then each day I sit down and work on them, whether it's in the morning or the night before. I definitely take a look at my plan and write down my to do is right now. It's very bare, of course, because the week just started off. I didn't really leave a to do list in my daily because I have it in my weekly. And I just love how both spreads kind of go together, how the colors match, but my daily pages are more functional and these are more decorative and beautiful and more so an outline of the week where my daily pages really get into the nitty gritty of what I have to be doing at certain times, like the time that I allot to the day. So I catch myself on not being Delulu. Oh, I know that was a lot. This was one of those weeks where I plan on both planners and it's because it's just a very, very heavy task week. Like I've got way too much to do. And sometimes when I have way too much to do, I will just grab like weekly pad or like a little piece of paper and just write a list for me um, because I don't even have time to plan. It just really depends on what works for you. I also shared my decorably videos like where you can use planner pads to simplify your planning. So there is definitely something for everyone. Be sure to check it out. And as always, if you have any questions about how I plan, which products I use, definitely let me know in the comments and let me know how do you plan your week? Are you a weekly, a daily planner, or are you someone who likes to simplify as much as they can, which completely other with you. Sometimes you just need a very practical week. And if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. It helps me a lot. Subscribe for more planning tips and tricks and hit that bell for notifications so you never miss a video. I typically post once a week, so I hope to see you around. Thank you so, so much for being here. Watch this video next. Bye.